Hello friends, in this video let us get acquainted with the idea of class and object and how it is created or how it is used in PHP language. In order to create a class, there is a special keyword in the PHP language called as class itself. So, class keyword has to be used and it should be followed by the user defined name because the class is a user defined data type, you can name it as per your requirement and then the name of the class must be specified by the user or the programmer to the name of the class. It is always, it is immediately followed by the set of opening and closing braces. So, if I say class student, it should be having a pair of braces in which or inside which the definition of the class will be there. If you have certain data variables or member variables to be defined, those member variables are defined by the another set of another keyword which is called as where. So, you have to use the where in order to define the data members or member variables inside the class and the functions because the class also contains the functions. So, the function definition is more or less same to the function that we have already defined using the keyword called as function. Once you have defined the class which contains what uh, some data members or member variables and some functions. Once you have divided or once you have finalized the class definition of the class what, what should be the attributes and what should be the functions. Then what you can do? You can create an object. Once you have defined your class then you can create any number of objects as per the requirement of your program and then using the object you can call the functionality of uh, the class inside. After creating the objects you will be now able to call the member functions. Generally speaking, later on we will see, generally speaking the member variables are declared as private. So, therefore, the direct access to the member variables will not be allowed. However, the functions are declared public. So, therefore, you will be able to call the functions through the object. In order to refer to a member inside the class, you know when the object is created you can call the function. So, you have to refer to the function and for the reference purpose this operator is defined dash arrow dash and greater than forms an arrow. So, using this arrow you can call the member functions. So, when a member function is called by the object using this arrow operator the calling object the reference of the calling object is sent to the member function in the form of a special variable called as this. So, Using this special variable this, the member variables belonging to the particular object which is calling the function, those member functions are you know processed inside the function. That means what? If a calling object is the reference to the calling object is this, this dot x, this arrow x, if x is the member variable that has been declared inside the class. So, how to refer to that x? By using this dollar this. This contains the reference to the calling object. So, for instance, all this uh, idea is explained uh, in this sample code, where this is the definition of the class, inside which there is a variable called as var. It is its value is a default value, some string is assigned to it. And then there is a function which is called as uh, whose name is display var. So, the simple class contains one data member and one function member. After the class is defined, I am declaring a an object of the simple class by using the keyword called as new. Remember that new keyword is always used to form an object of the class. So, a is equal to new simple class, a will be the object of the simple class that has been defined. If now I have to call the display where function, I will say a arrow display where. So, this function will be called inside which I want to refer to this member variable where. So, therefore, what I am using this arrow where. So, that is the mechanism by which the 
internal function of the class is called by the object and inside the function the data members are accessed by using this variable. Then we come to the very important feature of constructor and destructor. Whenever an object is created, the object will have all the member variables that are defined in the class. So, in order to initialize the object automatically, the function, the, the class is, it is necessary to have a special function in the class which will automatically initialize the data members or member variables of the class and that special function is named as double underscore construct. So, this is the name of the function that you must have inside the definition of the class. That construct function will be automatically called on whenever as many number of objects you declare every object creation will call this particular function. Inside which what you can do? You can initialize the member variables that are pertaining to that particular object. So, constructor in order to create you have to use double underscore construct. Actually, constructor overloading is not available in, in case of a PHP language. You can define the, if you have a constructor, you can also have a destructor. And what is the role of the destructor? To release or destroy the object. So, you can define the destructor by using on the similar lines. If double underscore construct was the name of the constructor, double underscore destruct. This is a special function which will be called whenever the object goes out of the scope whenever the object is no longer needed this destructor function will be called again I take a, again take a look at the same class simple class now i have defined a constructor double underscore construct so what will happen when i declare a, an object a is equal to new simple class i am now giving a value or a parameter inside the name of the class new simple class inside which val1 so, this val1 will become the par1, parameter1 and that will be used to initialize the var1. So, this definition of the class, the use of constructor and calling the member functions, all these features let us actually put into practice. I will show you a code which will have all the concepts of object oriented programming used in this. The name of the class is a book class how to create the object, how, how to call the uh, you know functions inside the class that I will show you with the help of that book class example. Let us now put all these object oriented programming principles in a practical example. The script that I have shown in front of you is called as book class.php and it is placed on the document server of our web server. The name of the class is books and in which two data members or member variables are defined as price and title whereas there are a couple of member functions of which this is a constructor remember that a constructor in php is having a name construct itself which is having a prefix of double underscore okay and the two arguments that the object is going to you know receive for example if this is the construction of the object of the books class i am saying physics is equal to new books how many arguments two arguments i am passing to the constructor so the constructor will take two arguments first argument is given to the title member variable of the class and the second argument is given to the price. So, this arrow title is equal to par 1 that means parameter 1 and this price is equal to parameter 2. So, this is the behavior of the constructor right. Then there are some set and get functions which are called setters and getters. So, set price will receive one parameter and the received parameter is stored as the price of price variable the value of the price variable of the object. So, this price is equal to parameter. Similarly, there is a get price which will return the 
value of the price parameter price member variable of the object similarly there is a set title and get title in addition to that there is a get details method inside the class which will just display the value of title and price of the calling object remember that the, this uh, you know variable a special variable called as this stores the reference or the address of the calling object that we are going to use to fetch the value of the title and price of the calling object so this is the, this is the entire class okay now we are going to create three objects remember that in order to create a object you have to use the new operator so new books physics is equal to new books two parameters we have decided to send two parameters to assign the data to two member variables of the object so this is the title price new books maths is equal to new books chemistry is equal to new books so these are the three objects that are declared and initialized by the constructor just print out the values that have been stored in these two objects call the get details function so it will print the title and price associated with the physics object and chemistry object as well as the maths object also okay now i will call the set price method physics arrow set price so this set price method will be called and the value that is going to be passed is 25 so what happens the 25 becomes the value of this pair parameter and that will be assigned to this this arrow price here this will refer to the physics uh, object so in effect what is going to happen initially the value of the uh, you know price member variable of the physics object was 10 now it will be set to 25 similarly i am changing the title of the maths object so i'll call the set title and then just to verify the changes are to be displayed by calling the get details then what i am doing is there is a get price method i showed you which will return the price of the calling object so i am returning the price parameter of first object second object and third object and i am adding it into a variable total and then i am printing it out so all the elements of the object oriented programming principles are used here how to declare the class how to declare the object how to press the constructor into action and how to call the different member functions inside the class so let us run this script book class dot php and see what are the different uh, results that they will be generated okay so i have started the server and i am giving the url as book class dot php this is the output three objects were declared for each object the constructor was uh, you know called into picture and the values are the object is initialized then we go on to change the price of object named as physics by calling the set price and then you call the set title whatever changes have been done they have been displayed in these two outputs and then finally you call the get price for each object and the get price returns the price which is an integer and then you perform the addition which will give you the total cost so that is the demonstration of the class and object as used in a php language